In this session, we'll have a quick look at how to maintain environments in Postman and how do we manage those environment in the best way so that we can have execution in let's say day SIT, UAT, pre-prod environments without any issues. Just by changing the environment, we can have the run in that particular environment and see the results. Also, we'll see the test section in which we can do some validations on the particular API request that we are sending. So let's say I have this collection which has two requests, one get and one put request. And I have not configured any environment as of yet. Now let's say, but this collection, this collection I want to run it on dev, SIT, UAT and pre-prod as per my requirement. Now I go to the manage environment section of postman and then I say create environment. Here I can name the environment as Dave and this has a key value pair. So variable name I am putting it as URL and in the value, current value I am just mentioning my system. So what I will do is I will just copy paste this, this part. Okay. There it is. And I go to manage environment. I say create environment. First environment we create is Dave. I say URL. Value is this. Okay. And I add. Similarly, I add more environments like mm -hmm. let's say SIT. I have URL here. I put the value for URL, say add, and again I say one more, UAT, URL, and I give the value for URL, say add, okay. This. URL and I put the value for URL. Okay. So now I have three environments created. I'm just putting one value for all three environment URLs. In the ideal scenario, it will have three different values pointing to those environments. And even you can have the keys, authorization keys, or any other environment. Uh, variables stored into that particular environment as I have shown in the manage environment section. Post this is stored, I just have to replace this part with double curly braces and I say I have given that variable name as URL and then close the braces. So now it is considered as a variable. I save it. Now, based on whichever environment that I select, let's say I select dev, this request will be targeted to dev environment. If I select SIT, which will have a different value for the URL, this request will be directed to SIT environment. So, your collection, you can execute to the targeted environment just by changing the environment variable that you have set up here. All the environment related variables you can set up as a key value pair into that particular environment. Now the next section in this session is tests. So if you see in this particular test I am 
expecting a status code as 200 to be reset. So if you go to the test section in Postman, there are some conditions already given in Postman itself. So let's say I select this. It will generate code. Its status code is 200 and it will have the code for checking the same as well. So you can use any of these values as given here for your validation purpose. You can even check response body JSON value check. So here let's say I want to check okay, next to this value equal to 100. So instead of equals to I can have contains a particular okay here it is so I will make this and then have this where I want to check this string as you can check it here let's say bar now I say this I have set up the environment to hit the SID endpoint and I have two validations put in in the test section. Now if I send this it will give me the test results here status code is 200 and body matches the state. So in the body we have bar which is there in the response word. So this way you can do the validation under test and you can select the environment where you want to run. So as I have shown in this video, do not set the environment variable to the same endpoint URL. Set it as per your requirement so that you can just change here and target your request to that particular environment. Thanks for watching.